Well, hello everyone, and it's another warm welcome back, and I hope I find everybody still in very good health, and thanks once again for your continuing support of my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now, my next featured video is actually a clip that I posted before on my channel, but previous versions never included any information about the bike, so I hope you'll stay with me for the next 10 minutes or so as we take another look at Ian Ridley's superbly restored 1975 500 CCM. Now I filmed this particular machine at the 2017 Scottish Motorcycle Show and this British made Alan Clues CCM 500 has been fully restored by Cumbrian racer and bike builder Ian Ridley. Now this is a 1975 CCM 500 and it's been restored to even better than new condition by Ian. Now if you wanted to know what uh, one of these CCMs may have looked like in a dealership window in 1975 then this is a prime example. Albeit it uh, maybe wasn't as shiny and sparkly as our bike in this video. Now not only is this a full restoration of an iconic British classic but every single part on this bike is almost 100% original although as you would expect each and every piece has been refurbished to as good as new. Now the bike was originally manufactured in January of 1975 with the frame number 75001 which uh, makes me think that this could have been the very first bike off the production line in that particular year. Now the frames on these 1975 CCMs were made of T45 light gauge steel tubing and uh, all these Clues motorcycle chassis were uh, nickel plated before assembly. Now also as I remember the frames were designed by Mike Etoff who of course later went on to form his own motocross motorcycle company called uh, Cotton. EMX. Now the engines on these bikes as you all know is based on the BSA B50 motor and this is the basic standard power plant that uh, Alan Clues bought from BSA at the time and then improved and upgraded it for motocross racing. Now Clues used a lot of magnesium to keep the weight down and these gold coloured side casings or just uh, one of the parts cast in this precious metal. But these gold coloured side casings uh, not only look good but actually did help to reduce the overall weight of the completed bike. Now another weight saver was to bolt the footrest mounts directly onto the side of the engine casings. Now the top and bottom triple clamps were again manufactured in magnesium because as you know weight was key when building a motocross bike in the early 1970s and magnesium was considered quite an exotic metal on a motocross race bike from 1975. But these parts were not just for show but uh, were essential in keeping the overall weight to the very minimum. Now more magnesium manufacturing again with the front and rear brake hubs also cast in this magnesium uh, metal. Now when you see reproduction versions of these CCMs many of the magnesium parts and especially these uh, brake hubs are usually the parts that are made of alloy because these original mag parts are just so hard to come by these days. Now I've seen CCMs with CZ hubs and even micro hubs because original magnesium parts for these 75 bikes are just so rare items to find but Ian is very lucky with his restored example and I'm sure that these rear brake backplates were also cast 
in magnesium. Now back in 1975 these bikes would have been fitted with a pair of Kony rear shocks and these particular items fitted to Ian's bike certainly look like the genuine article and uh, if you look at the condition of the rest of the bike with all its original uh, 1975 bits and pieces there's absolutely no reason to suspect that these are not the Kony originals. Now these Kony suspension systems were okay for their time. Okay, they weren't the greatest suspension units on the planet, but uh, this of course was 1975, so this was the technology of the day. Now these 1975 Clues machines would have had this fiberglass fuel tank which held about 1.6 gallons of fuel, which was usually enough to last for even the longest race moto. Now Preston Petty Plastics again would have been fitted in 1975 and these were excellent plastics and were reputed to be unbreakable and uh, to be fair most of the time they were. Now in this shot you can see the oil filler cap for the frame uh, just ahead of the uh, fuel cap there. Now you just unscrew this little alloy cover and then fill the frame down tube with uh, that Castrol R40 oil. Now the original parts on this bike just seem to keep going with these 1975 style handlebars, grips and levers. Although the chances are that the cables are reproduction units as I expect you couldn't just walk into a motocross bike store and pick up a set of control cables for a 1975 500 CCM, but in terms of originality and authenticity for a 1975 race CCM bike from that year, Ian's is probably about as good as you're ever going to see. But this bike has certainly won Ian many prizes and accolades uh, throughout the years. Now here you can see the details of the frame number and engine number and the date of the bike's uh, manufacture. Now these are the CCM's uh, chain adjusters. Again, quite unusual to have them at the front of the swing arm rather than the conventional method of putting them uh, near the rear drive sprocket. But they do work and they did their job without much fuss. Now as I recall, I'm sure the airbox on these 75 uh, Clues CCMs were made from fiberglass, although it looks like Ian has used a reproduction plastic item in its place. But between this beautiful BSA B50 engine and that superbly crafted nickel plated frame, this bike was still a world beater in 1975 and when the likes of Vic Eastwood Vic Allen and even John Banks and other famous riders slung their legs over these bikes. They were all unstoppable on their day and put CCM motorcycles on the motocross map in that particular year. And when you also consider that Clues Competition Machines was still a relatively small manufacturer in 1975, Alan Clues was building a motocross bike that was initially based on an outdated BSA road bike motor. But despite that, he used his ingenuity to produce something that not only looked right, but was one of the lightest four-stroke motocrossers of its time at only 220 pounds. But nevertheless, this Ian Ridley bike is a stunning example of one of these iconic 1975 CCMs. And although this particular example will never be put on the racetrack, it's still a fitting tribute to the late Alan Clues, who had the foresight and the engineering skills to build such an iconic piece of motorcycle history. So I hope you enjoyed this very brief look at Ian Ridley's 1975 fully restored uh, 500 CCM. So until the next time, please stay safe. And we'll speak again right here on Classic Dirt Bike TV.
This video was brought to you in association with Worldsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.